Welcome to my weekly market roundup, 11th April 2020. I am Sagar Nandi. I used to work in information technology, mostly based in Singapore. I have retired now. I am living in Thailand, swing trading stocks using the Q systems and techniques that I develop. You may watch these and other videos on my YouTube channel, Trading Profitably and contact me using my email id here i regularly share live stock analysis on my traders forum sagarnandi.com and my twitter handle sagarnandi all these resources are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them disclaimer this demonstration is for educational purposes only it is designed to share information on the systems and techniques I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, I will look at oil and gold using technical charts and then demonstrate the use of the 360 degrees technique where you can align the forces from the market level, sector industry level, fundamental level and technical level with your trades giving you truly high probability low risk trades. That was the last slide of my presentation. I will now continue with the live system. Let me start with oil ETF USO. I am analyzing it with the weekly backdrop chart template and daily entry chart template. Together I call this at a glance template because using this single template you can decide if there is a low risk buying opportunity or shorting opportunity in only a few seconds. In the previous market roundup, daily price closed at this point. The weekly was bullish in shape. The weekly color, backdrop color was neutral. In the daily, price closed just below a memory resistance at that time. Looking at that, I had suggested not to take any long trade. That was useful analysis because oil dropped from there. On Friday, the traffic light color is red, bearish. It is pretty close to the lower boundary level. And though the weekly shape is bearish the color is neutral if you combine the weekly and daily there is no trade setup in oil right now oil did not have any buy setup now however oil recovered somewhat from the extreme low level while it recovered i had taken some long trades in energy stocks and those ended with very large profit. CNX was one of them. If you remember my last market roundup, the video is on the YouTube channel. I had made a detailed analysis of CNX in that market roundup. I showed that it had a go with flow trend following long trade setup. The stock had higher high and higher low the relative performance was tilting up and on last Friday it gave a cyan flow color candle. The weekly color, backdrop color was cyan. That made all the checklist conditions of a go with flow trend following trade setup. Buying price would be the closing price of previous Friday and stop would be just below recent low you could put stop below the memory trend line support 
by this week price hit the upper boundary level and also the watermark resistance level that would be the logical profit target it hit the profit target and with discipline Q trader should book profit this trade gave significant profit in four trading days I shared another energy stock trading idea on my traders forum sagannandi.com it has multiple categories including trade setup using unambiguous checklist learning center member area for downloading the queue systems etc one category is not visible here that will be visible after you log in let me log in for logging in you need to register with a valid email id and once you register you can log in and now you can see the additional category 360 degree stock analysis here i shared a trading idea on dvn you may search for the ticker symbol here I shared it 11 days ago. Let's have a look. Scrolling to the top. I shared analysis of DVN on 31st March, 11 days ago. As usual, I attached the snapshots and this is what I saw. The energy sector as a whole it was very weak earlier and right on that day using real-time sector analysis I saw that energy sector was strengthening the pace column was showing that on that day it was accelerating as well that would be the most opportune time to look for fundamentally strong energy stocks for buying energy is too broad so I looked at the energy sector industries in fact all the industries were strong on that day and I was looking at this sector industry rotation analysis in the morning session on 31st March around 10 50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time I wanted to have a look at oil and gas exploration and production that was one of the strongest energy industries and that was accelerating as well using Q edge I further drilled down and I identified this stock Devon energy ticker symbol DVN it makes money the earnings per share is positive pays a nice dividend 6.9 percent when I shared the analysis the stock was up by more than 16 percent most of the peer stocks in the industry group were up DVN was undervalued with a short squeeze potential and it had accelerating earnings growth as well fundamentally the stock was looking very strong I had to then look for a possible technical trade setup this is what I saw in the weekly chart after a sharp drop the backdrop candle color turned neutral and it displayed bullish pressure and bullish pressure U-turn in the daily it created a W pattern that is it created higher low and right on that day the traffic light candle color turned bullish and it displayed bullish pressure as well if you look back the previous two pressures were also bullish therefore for a while the stock was displaying bullish pressure while it was consolidating at the bottom and the price extreme band indicator showed that it was at 
extreme low the squeeze release indicator showed that it was coming out of a technical squeeze as well there were enough indications technical indications that the stock might go up on top of that in the weekly chart thrust was at an extreme level and starting to recover extreme low level and starting to recover and you could see those recoveries from the daily thrust daily jump and also the daily OBV. there was no Q trade setup as such however technically the stock was starting to go up from a very low price level with multiple bullish indications fundamentally it was very strong and the industry was also strong at that time I decided to take a position in the stock that was on 31st March and later on I shared the result in a tweet by 7th April the stock had given more than 32% profit that is in 7 calendar days that is 5 trading days that is how though US oil itself didn't give any trade setup while it recovered somewhat from the extreme low price level I could look at energy stocks and buy several of them at a very low price I bought stocks that were fundamentally strong and within five trading days I closed the trades with significant profit during that time I traded non-energy stocks also you can see in Etsy also I could have more than 28% profit and I am sharing data on stocks that I shared earlier on my traders forum or YouTube channel before knowing the result on April 7 I had more than 28% profit in Etsy but when did I share the trade idea let's have a look at the traders forum go back to 360 degree stock analysis search for Etsy I shared this trade idea 8 trading days ago scrolling up shared it on April 3rd what did I see at that time in the weekly chart it dropped a lot and then it was starting to go up the backdrop candle color was still magenta though the shape was bullish the thrust and jump indicators were at extreme low levels from where a rebound was likely in the daily chart it created a W pattern and at the right edge it gave me a bullish traffic light candle candle color was green bullish and it was breaking out of the memory trend line resistance the thrust and jump in the daily chart was also showing that the stock is starting to recover in this case also there was no trade setup similar to DVN however there were enough bullish indications that was technical chart as usual I always look at the complete 360 degrees analysis not just technical analysis but also fundamental and industry rotation analysis in terms of fundamentals for Etsy I saw that on that day the stock was up by more than 12 percent in terms of valuation it was in the middle in terms of quarterly earnings growth last quarterly earnings growth it was negative however yearly earnings growth was positive 
and revenue growth was positive both for the last three quarters as well as for the last three years and it had a short squeeze potential it was not the best fundamental stock fundamentally i would say it was in the middle what about industry internet and direct marketing retail was very strong on that day it was strong earlier weekend in the middle and then it was starting to go up that was my 360 degrees analysis and while I am trading, I am also aware of what is happening in the world in terms of coronavirus. People are buying things using internet. They are using Amazon and they are also using Etsy. That was in my mind. Though I don't trade based on that thought, I have to trade based on Q360 degrees analysis. If the Q360 degrees analysis does not give me a trading opportunity i don't want to buy just because i think people are going to buy stuff using internet through etsy that is not my technique i want to use q360 degrees analysis and if there is a trade setup using that analysis there is no harm keeping in mind that due to coronavirus people are using the e-retailers like amazon and etsy that also influenced my decision somewhat I shared the analysis eight days ago on April 3rd and as I showed from the Twitter post I had 28% profit by April 7 in four calendar days now I am continuing with gold gold ETF GLD this week the backdrop candle color and shape both are bullish and in the daily also it is going up gold is bullish in the daily it is now near the upper boundary level that is not where I would suggest buying any instrument when was the optimal time to buy gold I explained that in the last market roundup you may watch the video again in the last market roundup I explained that there was a memory resistance in the daily chart though the weekly backdrop color and shape both were bullish what would be the Q technique to take a long position in gold Q technique would tell that we wait for price to break out of the memory resistance and then look for a low risk buy setup that setup came on this day when price gapped up and it opened above the memory resistance it gave a breakout trade setup using daily chart and also a gap long trade setup using fine tune intraday chart let me show you how precisely you could take the long position using trade station I can align the candles across the weekly chart daily chart and the fine tune chart here I am looking at the 10 minute chart of GLD using Q fine tune template this was the day when price gapped up and it broke above the daily memory resistance after open the early range high and low levels form and right in the next candle it broke out of early range high giving us a gap long day trading opportunity and that opportunity came as I mentioned when price was breaking out of the daily memory resistance so you would buy confidently at the close of this candle and for the day you would put stop just below early range low the stop was never approached 
Second Street price went up significantly. By the end of the day, your profit was much more than the very small risk that you took in the trade. You could book profit if you considered it to be a gap day trade and if you looked at it as a breakout trade using the daily chart, you could probably book partial profit and hold on to the partial position with trailing stop. If you come back to the daily chart, you can see now that using fine tune chart, you could buy gold right near the low of this candle when it broke out of the memory resistance and you are continuing to hold the position now with significant profit. That is the proper Q technique. You would not buy it this Friday when price is already near upper boundary. You would already take a long position on this day using the gap setup and also the breakout setup. Let's look at the sectors now. This is one month sector performance of one week ago. Not for this week, but this is a snapshot of one week ago. At that time, most of the sectors were down and some were down by large percentages. Still, if you remember my last market roundup video, though the sectors were down and the market ETFs were also down, I had changed my market outlook from bearish to neutral. That was very useful. Why? Because this week, this is one month sector performance as of this Friday's close this week. All the sectors went up. I changed my market outlook from bearish to neutral and the sectors all went up and they went up by very large percentages. From above 9% to above 31% edge. These are significant gains for one week. How did the market move? Let's find out from the market ETFs. S&P 500 ETF SPY. The weekly recovered after hitting the watermark support level. It bounced significantly from that watermark support. This week's backdrop color is bullish and shape is also bullish. In the daily, it is going up in an uptrend now. It has higher low and higher high. On this day, it gave a potential go with flow long trade setup. That was the time you could look for buying opportunities using individual stocks. Now SPY is overbought and the daily thrust and jump indicators are also at the upper extreme points. I will be cautious about buying stocks when SPY thrust jump as well as stretch indicators are showing overbought conditions. NASDAQ ETF QQQ here price was supported very nicely by the weekly memory trend line support that was coming from far far away. The optimal point to buy QQQ or other tech stocks would be when QQQ hit the memory support and started to go up from there. Price has gone up significantly since then. Weekly backdrop color shape both are bullish. In the daily, this was a cyan flow candle that gave a possible go with flow trend following long trade setup. Similar to SPY, it came four days ago. That was the time you could start to look for buying opportunities. From there, price has gone up further. It is overbought, shown by the stretch band indicator, and the daily 
thrust is also at the upper extreme. You may be cautious and avoid buying overbought stocks in this market. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, DIA. Here also, the pattern is similar. Weekly backdrop color and shape both are bullish. Four days ago, there was a cyan flow candle. Now, stretch band, thrust, as well as jump indicators are showing overbought condition. Looking back, the bullish headwind pointed successfully once again to a possible reversal. Russell 2000 ETF IWM like Daya, this also displayed the bullish headwind reversal signal right near the very bottom. I had mentioned of these headwinds in that market roundup and I had suggested protecting profit in existing short positions at that time using trailing stop. That was very useful because since then price went up. Here also four days ago there was a possible trend following long trade setup, go with flow setup. Now the stretch indicator, thrust and jump all indicators are showing overbought condition. One week ago the market had dropped. However, I changed my market outlook from bearish to neutral. That was useful because the market went up. What is my market outlook now? I am continuing with my neutral market outlook. That means I am not sure where the best trades are going to come from. That doesn't mean that the market is not bullish. If we look at the weekly charts and daily charts of the market ETFs, if we look at the sectors, then the market is bullish. However, the market ETFs are also overbought. That is one reason why I am continuing with the neutral outlook, meaning I am not going to look for many long trades when the market itself is overbought many stocks are also overbought. Another reason is when I looked at individual stocks, I didn't find any Q trade setup that is low risk buying opportunity now. Those opportunities came four days ago when the market ETFs also gave a go with flow long trade setup in the daily charts. Let me share one such example. This is the example DKS. Four days ago when the market ETFs gave a cyan flow candle in the daily chart, DKS also gave a cyan flow candle. On top of that, it displayed the headwind possible reversal signal. If you look down, it had extreme bullish pressure at that time and the stock was going out from price extreme low. Those were enough bullish signals to take a long trade. You would buy the stock at the close of that candle, put stop just below the memory support line and by this Friday you already have significant profit in the trade. Now the stock is also overbought like the market ETFs. You can see that overbought state from the stretch band indicator and also from the thrust indicator. That is why I mentioned that the best buying opportunities came four days ago using the go with flow long trade setup when the market ETFs also gave go with flow long trade setup. Now the market ETFs are overbought and these stocks are also overbought. You could buy DKS four days ago, but you would buy that only if its fundamentals and technicals were also strong. Were they strong? Let's find out using Q edge 
for industry rotation analysis and cube hitar for fundamental and peer analysis this is cube hitar the fully real time fundamental and peer analysis tool this is the latest version and you may download it from my traders forum let me highlight some of the changes that i made to this release firstly not only cube vital but all the cube zenith based tools metastock zenith based tools cube vital q edge q index everything is now running on 64 bit microsoft office so they are expected to be faster if you remember q edge it had this very useful inside tab where you could look at the stocks best performing and worst performing under various categories i use this regularly to find trading opportunities in real time from the best performing undervalued stocks and best performing growth stocks the inside tab was available in q edge now it is available in vital also how may you use it you may have your own preferred stock universe for example i have this liquid stocks in the usa 1242 stocks these stocks also have enough historical data they have been trading for at least 5 years and their trading volume is at least 500000 shares per day you could use my list of liquid stocks or you could create your own list of stocks and you could put them in the manual list and carry out a fundamental and peer analysis of all those stocks this functionality was already available and now you have the inside tab in q vital also out of those thousands of stocks you can now quickly see in real time which are the best performing undervalued stocks which are the best performing growth stocks what it means is that now you can use your own very large custom list and identify trading opportunities using real time insights that is not all if you look at q index where you can look at constituent stocks of different indices not only usa indices but global indices also you could look at those constituents fundamental and peer analysis now q index also has the insight tab meaning now you can use the power of q insight on the constituent of the index of your choice nasdaq or dow jones industrial or s&p 1500 and find trading opportunities from them probably well ahead of others also the various icons that were available be it in q vital home tab the inside tab or the stock tab these icons have been vastly simplified you will find them even more easy to use than before with that information on the latest release let me carry out a fundamental and peer analysis of dks i'm going to click the home button and enter dks as my root stock i already have the industry plus selected as peer relationship that is it is going to do a peer analysis among the stocks of the same or similar industry first cube vital retrieved some basic data about the stock business description 
in the second step it retrieved all the pr stocks total 21 pr stocks in the specialty stores industry and in the last step it retrieved detailed data about those 21 stocks and calculated vital statistics the snapshot of dks is filled up in this area what can you find from there the company is making money earnings per share is positive it has a decent dividend yield of 4.5 percent if you look at the percentage change over 10 days 5 days 2 days and 1 day it is steadily going up valuation is excellent undervalued stock shown by the cyan color in valuation score secondary valuation is also excellent robust earnings quality a short squeeze potential if you look at the earnings growth for the last three quarters it is positive and significant over the last three yearly periods also earnings growth is positive revenue growth is also positive over last three quarterly periods as well as last three yearly periods everything is looking bullish about this stock in terms of fundamentals and you can find that out from a single glance at this snapshot the stock is looking fundamentally very strong what about its industry you can use the cog navigational button that is going to carry out a industry rotation analysis using QH and instantly from the color coding you can see the industry specialty stores was weak earlier in magenta color and in recent periods it has become stronger it became strongest about five days ago that was when the stock gave a trend following with flow long trade in the technical charts let's go back to the chart again this is the day when you could take a long trade in the stock using the go with flow setup at that time the stock's fundamental was strong fundamentals don't change every day it is still very strong and the industry was starting to be strong from right at that time that was the time you could take a long position not only in dks but in many other stocks using go with flow setup in general you can see that when all the market ETFs are giving go with flow long trade setups you can find the same go with flow long trade setup in individual stocks also in fact this stock was pointed out to me by one of the q traders and i used this market rounder video to explain how you could use q systems to buy the stock at the most opportune time when the risk was lowest and the possible reward was highest let me summarize this week the market ETFs went up strongly the sectors are also very bullish the market is bullish however it is also overbought the thrust the jump and the stretch indicators all of them are showing that the market is overbought and individually many stocks are also overbought the optimal buying point was some days ago now I will suggest avoiding buying overbought stocks if you are already in a long position and you have a profit like in CNAX or in DKS you could continue to hold at least partial position with trailing stop and see if you can let profit run that is all that I plan to share in today's session thank you for attending I look forward to seeing you again in my next session have a great week and trade profitably.